Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. This video is all about Tensor Art Consistent Character Tutorial. So if you want a same character but different poses, different images and different style of images, you can do that with the help of Tensor Art. Where first you will design your character or maybe you can choose one from templates and later on you can generate multiple images from that one single character. For that you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for tensor art you can also get its link in the description below after that you will get on this tensor art platform once you get there you just have to find a template or maybe a model in which you would like to work on so here we have this model but this one is actually exclusive so we couldn't use one until we have a subscription you have to get a one which is free and which is actually hyper realistic so this one is actually very much hyper realistic you can choose something like this but if you didn't like the one that you have chosen, you can go and explore other ones mostly consistent character are actually the hyper realistic so you have to choose within that but you can go with any option of your choice so here i'm going with this one once i click onto it its profile will open so here you can see we have some of its information written up here and it says that if I choose this model it will have the same face but it will create different images. So once you get there you have to click on this remix option and after that this one will open. So once you get there you now what you have to do is that here first we have this prompt option. In prompt you have to do changings. Now you have a character but you have to make it unique. So to make it unique you have to do changings in the prompt. You first read the prompt and after that if you want to change something you can do that. Like here I'm just going to change the size of here. It says the medium here but I'm just going to add it along here and we'll do some of the basic things to change it and to make it into a new character. You can also go and do the changings as per your choice or as per your preferences. And once you're done choosing and editing your prompt, you can go and do changings in negative prompt if you would like to. Here you can just simply add those things that you don't want in your image. And once you're done with your prompt and negative prompts, you can choose the aspect ratio of your image. It's all up to you, whatever you would like to choose. And there are other options also available you just have to simply choose as per your choices you can also choose the upscale level as per your choices and other options and at the last you can choose how many result images you would like to here we have this option for one two and four i'm just going to choose two and just simply clicking on to this option which is generate and after that it will create two images from it here you can see the loading has been just started Usually it takes up to 120 seconds but if you tell it to create more images at the moment then it might take more time of it or maybe less time. Meanwhile these images are creating you just have to simply wait and once the images will be created then you can just simply go and do the changings in the prompt once again to create more images and more unique images. And here the images are almost done and this is what it has created. So it has created two images and it actually worked on the way of prompt. I explained it to add long hairs and it actually added before it said that it has medium hairs but now it has long hair. And if we do other changings in this prompt it will definitely work onto it. So now you have the images you can download them and again you can do the changings in the prompt. And after that you will get more images so that's how you can just simply create multiple images and you can get consistent character with the help of tensor art so these images are hyper realistic because i used this model if you use another model it will work based on that one now i'm just going to create more images with the help of this same prompt but obviously i will do some of the changings so you can change anything like you can change the dress color you can change the background you can even change the ethnicity you can change the whole image as per your choices and you can also do changings in the negative prompt and these things will not be added in the image once the images are created and once i click on generate it will then start generating the images based on the prompts and the other instructions we have given to it so meanwhile we just have to wait for the time 
once this loading is done we will see the images that will be created based on the prompts and the other instructions we have given it with so it's almost done we just have to wait for few seconds and after that here you can see the images has been generated and it actually works based on what prompts i have given it to and it looks really good so that's how you can just simply generate multiple images with this same corrected by just doing changings in your prompt with the help of this feature you can even create ai instagram models and you can use these images on instagram and that's it this was all about tensor art consistent correctors i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates also press the bell icon button so you can get more amazing content also make sure to leave a like and comment and thank you so much for watching the video